I was doing the part of a mother who was a cripple. And she had a daughter and she didn't uh, afford to maintain the kid. So they took the kid from me. Policeman, I think it's a policeman who took the kid from me and the kid grew up not knowing the mother and was poor. So somebody helped me to go to that place to find where my kid is. And then I gave my kid a photo, my photo and hers. So every time she saw me and he asked this man, who's that woman? She's like my mother, where's my mother? And said, no, your mother is dead. Everything is so until I get a chance to talk to that kid and say, I'm your mother. And that was that, you see? Yeah. It was a sad yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Could you tell us a bit about how you got into acting? Um. Yeah, when I was still a young kid, at school, we were singing, acting, and dancing. And I was doing a lot of things, like drum majorettes, uh, girl guides, so I was the leader every time. Which you go. get this. Coco! I'll check that again uh, about how you came into acting, how you got into acting. Mm. When I was still a kid at school, I liked acting, singing, and dancing. So I did all these things and I was chosen as a leader for girl guides, drum majorettes, basketball. And I thought that I can make it. We were doing a small plays at school. And after school, I told my parents that uh, when I grow up, I want to be an actress. So they said, no, not now. You must finish school first. After that, you can do whatever you like. So I started acting in 1975 with Gibson Kente when I was still doing standard 10. Yeah, so. We had classes with Gibson and we wrote our exams in uh, December every time. So I started working with him because he was teaching us how to act, how to walk, how to dance. He was teaching us everything. He's like a school. So if you go there, you must know that you've got everything. And then, well, we don't get uh, the diplomas, but we get the work. 